Welcome back everybody. This video is how to use a pressure cooker. Um, the noise in the background that you might hear is a uh, movie that's going on at the moment. Uh, and there you go. So, I've got a pressure cooker for Christmas. Uh, like most of you, <laughs> I don't read instructions. However, uh, th in this particular instance I did. And um, fascinating actually. So, um, one thing that you need to do first, much like most of my videos, sort of make it up as a go, go, apart from cleaning the inside, well, the lid and the inside, I've then half filled it with water. Oh. Lid down, cool, that's on. So the lid is locked in place. I'm going to move it. to the element on the stove, crank it up. Um, this little fella here, where the steam comes out, apparently the steam comes out, needs to be in that position, not that position. It's got to be in that position, because the little label says that it needs to be closed. Closed. So there we go, and we're going to uh, wait till steam is coming out, and then we're going to boil it for 10 minutes. So I'll pause it while we wait for that to get steamy. Okay, we're back people, and in an interesting turn of events, the steam is coming out <coughs> here. Whereas I was expecting the steam to come out here. I really don't know what this thing is for, but anyway. So, the timer is now set and it's counting down. 10 minutes, so it's going to be boiling in there, steaming away for 10 minutes uh, before I can use it for cooking. Okay, unusual thing has happened. The 10 minute timer, which is counting down to nearly 6 minutes, is going and there is no steam. Um, the steam has just stopped for some reason, so uh, I guess that's normal. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you know that that is not normal. I uh, mean, this whole thing is about to explode and we'll die, but well, I guess you won't be watching this if that's the case. So hopefully, hopefully, this makes its way to YouTube and all is well. So we continue to wait. Okay, as you can see, no more timer. Um, during the 10 minutes that it's been boiling, uh, this little fella has raised his head. And I can see a white line, which apparently is good. Um, if it had raised it further, if it had come up further and there was a red line, then apparently there's bad, that there's too much pressure. So anyway, um, it says in the instructions that, and again this is all before cooking, that I can cool this naturally by just taking it off the heat. What do I hear my lamb shanks that I'm browning to chuck in this fella? Uh, or I can um, cool it down quickly. Yeah, I'm going to go for that option oh, with the tap. So there's the tap. Yeah, Alright, cold water is ready. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you this new development. Alright, uh, steam is now coming out of it. So, uh, I don't know what that means, I'm not sure. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Whoa. Well, it's kind of frightening at the moment. And there's a lot of pressure obviously that's built up in there. Ah, hey. Where do I put the cold water? Oh, I can hear this thing boiling. Uh, slowly allow water to flow over the pressure cooker. Okay. Whew. It's exploding now, pressure cooker. Cold water. Cold water. Cold water is happening. Cold water. Yeah, how much cold water? I don't know. It's not clear. Avoid. Avoid water to flow into the safety valve. Oh, 
there. Okay, I think because that's the, well, no, this is the safety valve, I think that's happened already. Um, caution, extreme caution is advised when quick cooling. That's what's happening right now, folks. And moving the pressure cooker when hot. All right. Avoid water to flow into the safety valve and pressure limiting valve. So maybe that's enough cooling time. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, that bad boy has gone back in. Okay. Do not see the white line anymore on this fella. So, make some of this. Um, okay, so now just gonna do this lid. Oh man, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous. TV's getting loud. Oh, there we go, this way. And... Okay. Well, that's not so bad. Oh, the chops. There's a lot of things. Oh, there. Okay, I'm going to pause this now and give this another clean and then get ready for the cooking. So this, this video initially was just going to be how to use a pressure cooker. And I was just thinking how to, how to sort of follow those initial instructions on how to get it set up. Um, which is pretty simple really. Uh, half filling it with water, boiling it, cooling it under the tap until that blue thing goes back in. And uh, giving it another clean again, which I shall use dishwashing liquid for. Mm. Yeah, and that, and that's the dishwashing liquid. Really very cool Jagermeister bottle. Here we go. Okay, so the first recipe I'm going to try, I'm kind of making it up. Um, I haven't got exactly what the ingredients here. I've got my lamb shanks in there, and I've got an onion, which is browning, and a garlic clove. And I'm going to toast some of these. And then I'm going to squeeze the juice out of that orange into it as well. Okay, here we go. So we've got in here we have our lamb shanks, and in amongst it all, it's pretty hard to see in this light. Um, we have a brown onion, um, fried up a garlic clove as well, and our sliced almonds. And to that, I'm going to add a cup and a half, eh, roughly, of water. You can see dead lamb stock, but you have that. Orange juice. Here's an orange that I peeled. So that's juice. I wonder what this would come out like if I just chucked it all in. Let's just chuck it all in. And there's a bit more orange there. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, it might make it taste horrible. Let's find out. So this is the first recipe I've tried. In this cooker. Okay. Working. So that there, according to the recipe, I put the lid on and then um, I bring it up to pressure and leave it alone for about 15 minutes. So now that this thing is thoroughly clean, as you saw earlier, lid is now on, element on. It did say in the cooker, well, in the cooker, in the recipe book that the element that it's on should be smaller than the pressure cooker so yeah 
this one that I did the cleaning boil on is slightly bigger so I'll put it down to that one there right so how will I know that it's up for pressure um, I think that is that thing there that lifts up to the white line and then I'll leave it alone for 15 minutes and let's just see if this thing works Alrighty. ok we're pretty much halfway through cooking time apparently it's going to take 15 minutes and well you can see the timer there this is what's happening with the pressure cooker it's releasing a lot of steam um, what's good for me for peace of mind sorry folks accidentally paused it with my finger holding the camera is that that blue thing in the jig there showing the white line means it's at the right temperature and I think that it's releasing all that steam to make sure it stays at the right temperature apparently if that blue thing rises any higher and it shows a red line and then we've got to cool it down and I'll just do that by taking it off the heat but hey time accounting so far so good but these lamb shanks are actually cooked at the end of this time I'm I'm gonna be so impressed ok folks it is time, the timer has gone off steam in the way the good news is that it stayed at the white line, the safe line that is off we're going to do the quick cooling down balance the camera yeah. Whoa. oh man Oh yeah, still kind of scary. Um, we're going to cool down here. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay. Again, I really have no idea how long this cold water is meant to be running on this. Oh, I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Whew. Okay, here we go. Because the million dollar question is, are the lamb shanks actually going to be cooked? I'm really sceptical. Well, my first impression is that they are cooked. Uh, okay, how do we know for sure? Here we go. Move that lid over there. This here. Okay. Grab the blue chopping board. Blue is for meat. In our house anyway. So, the only way to know for sure. Cut this thing open. Here we go. Wow. Wow. That that is awesome. Okay, I the light might be better up here, but as you can see, um, that's just cooked beautifully. And I am impressed. Um, okay, so I'm going to chuck these on some plates, pour on some of the some of the sauce, voila, how to cook uh, with a pressure cooker, yum, oh, I can't wait.